Welcome. The Passive Sampling Technology Update team is proud to present an overview of the Passive In-Situ Concentration Extraction Sampler. This quick video will provide a high-level overview of the device, as well as instructions on how to use, deploy, and retrieve the device. For more information on this and other passive sampling technologies, please visit the Passive Sampling Technology Update Guidance Document. The Passive In-Situ Concentration Extraction, or Pisces, sampler is an equilibrium-type sampler. It primarily relies on diffusion and absorption to accumulate target chemicals, and it is intended to sample nonpolar or hydrophobic organic chemicals in surface water. The Pisces is manufactured in two sizes, a 7.6 cm flange diameter, has a membrane area of 21 square centimeters and can hold 100 milliliters of solvent, and a 10 cm flange diameter, has a membrane area of 50 square centimeters and can hold 200 milliliters of solvent. Both samplers are approximately 9.5 centimeters, 3.75 inches long. Let's examine the different parts of the Pisces device. A membrane, typically low-density polyethylene, LDP, covers one end of metal container filled with organic solvent. There's also a brass body where the selected organic solvent is placed. The metal container is filled with an organic solvent, typically hexane or isooctane. The sampling rate does not differ between these two solvents. Other solvents, like alcohols, methanol, ethanol, propanol, are currently being evaluated for use. The solvents then pass through the membrane at an appreciable rate as long as the membrane is properly mounted and not damaged. A top cap of the sampler, which includes a flange and Vitano ring that retains the LDP membrane. A port with a screw cap is located at the opposite end to allow for the removal or addition of solvent. The PTFE vent filter resides on top of the port cap and prevents the migration of the sample media from entering the device but allows gases that may accumulate during deployment to escape. To deploy the Pisces, the sampler is received from the laboratory empty of solvent but otherwise assembled. When ready to deploy the sampler in the field, the samplers are filled with solvent immediately prior to placement of the sampler. This will minimize solvent evaporation through the membrane. Pisces are usually suspended from an anchored float. Samplers have been deployed to a depth of 20 meters, or about 66 feet, without problems and can be used at greater depths. In areas prone to vandalism or other tampering, floats can be anchored below the water surface to make them less visible. In shallow water, Samplers can be directly attached to a cinder block and placed on the bottom. Residence time can range from one day to one month. Depending on the target chemical and the rugged construction of the device allows the sampler to be deployed for extended periods of time. Once retrieved, the solvent is decanted from the sampler into the laboratory supplied container at the sampling site and returned to the laboratory for analysis. The solvent is analyzed by conventional analytical methods. The membrane excludes ionic, high molecular weight natural organic matter and particulates, thereby simplifying, and in some cases eliminating, the need for cleanup of samples before analysis. Some advantages of the Pisces sampler include, Pisces are reusable and allow the easy addition and retrieval of the selected organic solvent. The device is also lightweight and can be redeployed without decontamination to same sample location. Additionally, the Pisces sampler has improved laboratory detection limits. Limitations to the Pisces sampler include Samplers are expensive. Samplers must remain submerged during deployment. Deployment to moving bodies of surface water requires careful consideration to avoid damage. Samplers may contain solvent that potentially could be released to sampled media. Some hazardous shipping and handling requirements may apply. Samplers are not widely accepted by laboratories for analysis. In summary, Pisces samplers are equilibration samplers that use diffusion and adsorption to accumulate target chemicals. They are intended for use in surface water, and they must remain submerged during deployment. The samplers are lightweight and reusable. They also may be redeployed at the same sample location without the need for decontamination procedures. However, the Pisces samplers may be expensive and are not widely accepted by laboratories for analysis. Coordination with your laboratory will be required prior to use at your site. 
For more information on the Pisces samplers and other passive sampling technologies, check out the IDRC Passive Sampling Update Web Guidance.